Welcome to Do You Even Science. In this video we will go over the basics of how to build a simple Rubens tube. To start with, this is what you need. Some 13mm barbed poly tees, some 13mm clear vinyl tubing, a galvanised zinc downpipe available from the hardware store, and some polyurethane sealant and adhesive. To start off with, use some blue painters tape to run along the length of the pipe. This allows us to make some marks for every hole that we need to drill later on. Now, measuring in 15 centimetres from one end, make a mark every 20 millimetres along the length of the pipe until you reach roughly 15 centimetres from the other end. Secure the pipe with a clamp and then using a centre punch, punch every hole that you marked every 2 centimetres. Next, using a 2.5mm drill bit, drill all the punched holes. This is going to take a while. Next up, carefully remove the tape to reveal that beautiful pipe and all its holiness. Using a bit of sandpaper, just remove any rough edges. Using one end of the pipe as a tracing template and some scrap wood, trace around the end. Like with most home workshops, you work with what you have. Use a jigsaw or whatever else you have to cut out your template that you made with the wood. After which, just use a rasp to tidy up the edges. And if that's still not working and you have a nice belt sander, cheat a little. Now here's a fiddly part. Pipes when they come aren't perfectly symmetrical. So to find a right fit you've just got to play, sand, play until you get a right fit. Once you've got it in there make sure it's a snug fit and just push it in just so you've got a lip on the pipe that's one to two millimeters in depth. Once the wood is inserted into one end, using the polyurethane adhesive and sealant glue Make sort of a membrane over the end and seal it right off as you will be running gas through this pipe. Make life easier for yourself and clean up as you go. Next up, roll the pipe at a 45 degree angle from where you were and secure. Mark in half a metre from both ends. Then drill a hole 18 millimetres in diameter. Don't use a spade bit like I do. These are used for wood and it will be ruined. I recommend using one of these. Next up, use a file to remove any jagged edges as you don't want them cutting into the poly and you may need to widen them just slightly so you get a nice snug fit. Once again remembering that there will be gas going through this so you want a nice airtight seal. Using a liberal amount of the polyurethane, coat the T-piece so you've got lots of glue and screw it into place. This should make a nice airtight seal. You will need to add more glue around the edge to make a proper seal later on. This part's probably the most frustrating. Measuring halfway between the two right angle barbs, cut a piece of pipe to the halfway length. Then try to attempt to put it onto the barb. I found a blowtorch helped to loosen and soften the vinyl to allow me to thread it on there okay. Once you've done there, do the same for the other end and then secure the T-piece in the middle, like shown in the video. Then grab a nice length of the leftover vinyl. Two metres is probably plenty for that.
attach the 2 metre length of vinyl to the poly T. It should look something like this now. We have two inlets going into the pipe, going into one main inlet. This gives us even gas di distribution within the tube. As you may have seen some other Rubens tubes, they have higher flames at one end than the other. This allows for a nice even flame and better standing waves. The diaphragm's easy. Just chop a balloon in half and stretch it over the end. If you find the pipe is sharp and it cuts the balloon, just sand it back so it's smooth. You shouldn't need tape to hold it on there as it will hold generally by itself, but secure it with tape if need be. Now to test it out, just plug it into some sort of gas supply, either an LP gas cylinder or some natural gas methane. I find methane burns a bit cooler and you can run it for longer, but LP gas works just as well as well. For the speaker, just place it near the end of the diaphragm and use some sort of device to play the music through it. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.